So before I started PFP, I'd been struggling with how my body looked for years. I always had just a negative image of it. I was constantly comparing myself to other people, like my sister who was naturally skinnier than me because she ran. And I was always just really down on myself about it. So that caused me in eighth grade to develop an eating disorder where I just wasn't eating enough, I wasn't feeling my body enough, and I was trying to work out more in order to try and lose weight, but it, in a not healthy way. I would just look in the mirror and I'd cry about how my body looked. And <laughs> I'd <laughs> work out alone in my room, and I was just like always tired, and I wasn't happy. Well, I, I, I mean, I was, I was devastated, to be honest. I mean, that's not something you want to hear from your kid, that she's struggling so much and not eating and feels like she, um, you know, has such a poor self-image. You know, I've purposely always tried to build her up, just both of my kids in general. Andrew um, asked her to tell me, which she did. Um, he came out and told me first because he was concerned. Um, and he said, I just want to let you know what your daughter just revealed to me during our success session, which of course shocked me. It wasn't, um, it, I didn't realize A, it had risen to that level and B, you know, for her to tell someone else really, really shocked me. Um, it did say a lot though about how comfortable she felt with Coach Andrew, that he's asking her questions in a success session and one of the questions was um, highlighting to the highlight things that were a concern to her and it was body image. So during my success session with coach Andrew he asked me a question about my body image because they really care about just working on the overall athlete not just their skills and I answered honestly I said that I'd been struggling with it for a few years and that I struggled with my eating too. And he was honestly the first person I told about it. And he was like, do your parents know? And I said, no, cause I hadn't even told them yet. And he told me that I should probably go tell my parents about that. And so on the car ride home, that was the first time I told my mom that I'd been struggling with my eating and just how I viewed myself. And yeah, from there on, it, they helped me so much. They taught me about my nutrition and how much I should be eating. Because even after I thought I was better with my eating, I still wasn't eating enough, but I didn't even know that. So they taught me how much I should be eating, ways to eat more, like different foods to eat that would help me. And um, they were always like checking in. For athletes that don't know about players' fitness and performance, the one thing that they should know, and from the second they walk in, they'll notice this, is that the people that work there are some of the nicest people I've ever met in my whole entire life. They're so kind, and they really just care about their athletes. Um, but they, they really care about the overall person, not just their sport. They really want their athletes to reach their full potential mentally and physically. About to cry about them, they're so sweet. <laughs> If we're comparing Emily from before PFP to now, it's a total 180. Um, she's more confident, she's happier, um, she feels better in her skin. Um, I mean, physically, just her athletic ability has increased dramatically. I mean, coaches notice it now that she's on the volleyball court, that when she started back to, to volleyball after COVID, the coaches, every coach she's had has commented, wow, Emily, we can't believe your agility. We can't believe, you know, how, how you've improved where other kids were, were struggling. So, um, so physically, her improvements have been drastic and amazing. Um, emotionally and mentally, they, um, which for me is even more important, they've been outstanding. Um, they've really helped her to just get that confidence level, to feel better about herself, to feel better in her own skin. Um, and 
taught her the proper way to fuel her body as an athlete. There's one thing I'd want people that were in the same mindset that I, I was. Um, I really just want them to understand that people, there's so many public images about the perfect body or like the ideal body when it just causes so much comparison and comparison is a thief of joy. My mom used to always tell me that and it really, it causes kids to think that they need to change their body and what they're eating and what they're doing when really what you have to change is your mindset because there is no perfect body, there is no ideal body that you should be wanting when really your body is perfect for you. And you should just stop comparing yourself to what other people think you should have.